What's up, guys? Welcome back to the recap show of UFC 294, headlined by Islam Makhachev and Alexander Volkanovsky. And me and Phoenix will be choosing our burn moments that we saw from last night's pay-per-view. Phoenix, tell them what a burn moment is. A burn moment is a super hard time in your life that you just have to fight and overcome something. But in this instance, me and Priest believe it happens in sports as well. So it's that changing point in a fight or a game that ultimately helps you win. It's time to get into our burn moment recaps. So Priest, kick things off with the first burn moment of UFC 294. My burn moment is going to the man Islam Makashev on that KO against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Alexander Volkanovsky was solidifying, solidifying himself as the best fighter in the planet as of today. But Islam Makashev, come to find out, has that dog inside him. And it, this wasn't just like, oh, he kind of got lucky. He threw a head kick. No. If you go back in the first fight, Islam kept on throwing up those left high kicks and they kept on landing on Volk. I don't care if Volk shakes it off, it's still landing. Even look back at three minutes, at the three minute and 59 minute mark in the first round, Islam throws that same high kick and it lands on Volk. So I think Islam saw something in Volk's game where that left high kick can land at any moment. And there's a video of himself drilling it in the back before he fought. So that is my burn moment and watch. Islam Makhachev will never lose a fight ever again. I believe that 1000%. So that's my burn moment. It's going to be interesting if he goes to 170. But back to the Islam thing. He was setting that thing up. He threw a lot of low inside calf kicks, which in a tendency made Volk to kind of flinch just a little bit. And he was setting that thing up. To Priest's point, it was not a fluke. He was setting up that high kick. And man, shout out to Volk though for taking this yes. fight on 11 days yes. notice, coming off surgery, coming off a very scary fight against Yair Rodriguez that he made look very, very easy. And I just hope he doesn't take a fight soon. No. Nah. He's talking take about the January off. against Ilya. Volk, please don't do it. I know you, you love fighting and you feel like you don't have a life that is outside of a camp, but find something. Find golf. Do something outside of the fight game to take your mind away because if you fight Ilya in January, yeah, you might win, but you are not going to be the same. You will not be the same. I agree. I 1,000% agree so, with you. We'll it's see a, what happens with that. It's almost kind of like that Kamara Usman. I think he took that rematch a little too soon against Leon Edwards, but shout out to Kamara Usman too on taking that fight against one of the scariest dudes on the planet, Hamzat Shamayev. Shout out to Kamara for taking that fight on 11 days notice too. And that was a great fight, too. I yes. feel like Kamara just didn't let himself go. He didn't let himself go. And it's kind of what you said in the prediction show. He's timid. He's reactive instead of proactive. He's not there throwing the kitchen sink. He's not taking risks in fights. Because in round two and three, Hamza gassed out. And I continue to say this, that he is only dangerous for the first round. He's only dangerous for the first round. So why weren't you going? Why weren't you pushing the pace? You were landing. It's frustrating too. Yeah, it's frustrating no. to see hey, a fighter like that, of, but one great of most, fight. Yeah, no, it was a great fight for sure. And especially for Kamara taking this on 11 days notice. What more can you ask? But they Phoenix, the card. this is a burn moment show. What is your burn moment of UFC 294? I'm going Ikram Aliskerov. Scary dude. I think I'm pronouncing dude. his name correctly. Dude, this dude is unbelievable. I believe in the hype now. When he was supposed to fight Paulo Costa, I was like, why is this dude fighting Paulo Costa after one fight in the UFC? But, dude, this dude is good. And he fought a great opponent in Worley Alvarez. This man beat Colby Covington. He's coming up to 185 to kind of reinvigorate his career. This was no Joe Schmo that he beat. But his burn moment came at the 303 mark of that first round. Because you know what? He dropped him with a jab, but he didn't panic. He didn't go and try to maul him and finish the fight. He was so poised. He let him get back up. He was waiting. He was waiting. He was waiting. And then, boom, flying knee right to the dome. And then finishes up with some shots. This dude is scary. But I think the biggest thing in his biggest burn moment was staying patient. And I think that says a lot about him and the trajectory of his career. Because if he can stay very, very patient 
in some high level fights that he's about to go through against high level opponents, he might be fine for a world title one day. No, nah, I'll tell you what, his next fight's definitely someone inside of the top ten. Top ten, I, top fifteen. I honestly feel like they're gonna rematch that or redo the Paulo Costa and the first fight they were supposed to fight back in July. They could do that. They could do that. Oh. I would love to see him. And I don't want to say this because this would never happen. And I don't want to get my hopes up. Him versus Bo Nickel. Ooh. How about that fight? That would be Ooh. a banger of a fight Ooh. because I want to Ooh. see him fight someone who's a really good wrestler. Like a true collegiate wrestler that has translated to MMA. Because I'm interested to see how his wrestling is. Granted, he's Russian. All the Russians are great at wrestling. But he's a great boxer. And if he has great wrestling on top of it. Dude is dangerous. Very he dangerous. is freaking dangerous. So that's my burn moment. Shout out to Ikram Aliskarov. Don't ask me how many times I had to practice that before coming on here because that is a tough name to say. No, it is. But that's going to do it. As a little recap, I picked Ikram Aliskarov. Priest picked Islam for our burn moments. But let us know in the comments if you saw any burn moments that we missed. And that's going to do it from this video. We'll see you guys for the next video. Peace. This is the burn factor. This is the burn factor.